Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick speed test between the Galaxy J5 2017 edition versus the uh, Asus Zenfone 3 uh, which is a very very nice Asus phone here, got a very very shiny back here as you can see over here uh, but a very very nice rectangular camera here, a nice location on the fingerprint sensor, very very easy to reach and the very very nice metallic aluminum a Galaxy J5 2017 edition duo so you can use two sim cards uh, but uh, this one uh, here very more slippery uh, you do have capacity touch buttons down here on both but there is a little bit of a difference first the uh, Asus phone is uh, phone 3 here is a little bit larger in size and also the Galaxy uh, Galaxy J5 it has a fingerprint sensor built into this real physical key here. Now it's it's a Samsung key that's that doesn't stand out uh, on some Samsung phones like the Galaxy S4. It stands out here. It's just like completely flat to the surface here. And also this one has a, uh, a standard charging port, not this new uh, charging uh, cable that Samsung is using on many newer devices. So let's start them up here and uh, let's go. So you have Asus own UI, which they have, which is amazing on their devices. Uh, really, really good, optimized, and they also have some many times uh, released good latest updates to their operating system. So they are starting up here. Kabam, look at this, look at the impressive speed in the Asus phone, look at this, it's insane how good performance this is, it's really really impressive, I highly recommend you buy the Asus phones, uh, Samsung is a little bit more laid back here, still good performance but not as snappy as uh, the Samsung 3, I do know that there's also used an effect over there but it still is a little bit interesting, wow look at this, this is insane, this is mad speed. Samsung cannot compete against that. Uh, I think it looks a little bit childish here, but uh, it, it's still cool that they're trying to do something unique. And if I go into settings here, I go down to about phone, I can see that this one actually got the latest Android 7.0 update. Uh, same as with Samsung, it's using Android 7.0 here. Uh, but Samsung is also using their Samsung Experience uh, version 8.1 on top as a layer. Uh, compared to Asus, uh, which is using their own Zen UI, I think they're calling it something, on top here. And I think it looks way nicer because the folder is just like way more optimized. And if you take a look at, for example, uh, if you take a look at some basic app like the uh, calculator here, uh, you can see that both have very, very nice, pretty similar UI types. <laughs> Yeah, both looks very, very nice. And if I take a look at, for example, in the dialer here also, they look pretty, pretty similar. So yeah, that can definitely be good there to know. And let me know if you want to see something specific with these devices. And yeah, have a great day.